Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, June of 1726 in Patch 5. Chicken coops right there. Still waiting for chickens. <laughs> Few new things in the queue over here. Since last episode, I scratched my head and thought about these a little more, and didn't want to spend another 20 minutes trying to lay them out, so <laughs> I did it off camera. Um, got rid of the three, pushed them further back into the trees. So that when this leaves, though, I wonder if there's enough room there now. Let's, well, there wouldn't be because I want it even with this road down here. At least that was my thought. Does it have to be? Maybe that is what's wrong with my plan. Trying to make it do something it can't do. Um, let's swing you around like so. Place is occupied. Yep, it is. So that alignment there. And I'm not quite the width that I want to be, but it doesn't really matter. So that's going to drop in something like that. And I'm thinking about a long pasture here and a long pasture there with the doors right next to the farm. Both, both doors pointing at the farm. Then there's five fields. Don't have to do six. Don't have to do really any number. I mean, if we had enough volunteers available, we could do 20 fields. But uh, there's a good chance that the 20th one wouldn't get planted in time. So there's no actual limit that I'm aware of to the game. I mean, we've got these three over here that were originated from this farm. And this farm is now registering that there's nine fields you know, in its in its list. So I don't think there's truly a, a limit. It's just uh, the last ones won't function as well. If we had a farm and two fields each farm i'm sure each farm would be far more productive but we'd have to then deal with more plows and more buildings and what have you what's going on down here oh we're building the other windmill wow now that was impressive <laughs> that was mighty impressive he just put that whole structure up and put it on his shoulder and carry it over there well i wish i could do that um how, how are the crops doing we've got a lot of green over here growing is halfway over here, growing is, what would you say, 45%, about the same, getting closer to 40%. There's probably a good solid 40%, and that's, they're not that far behind. So that one to the to the the most growth, there to there, yeah, it took, what, middle of March through the first week of April, and it's only this much difference between the first and last field, so that's not too bad. Uh, so that's happening, farm is... I did put in a couple more foresters, and they have no logs. They're waiting a log now, so they should be heading over first to work on these projects. So I'm waiting to see somebody walking this direction. Or I could cheat and click on him and show path. And dude, no, 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 no. The, you know, they're over here. Now they got to deal with the logs that are already down. Okay, so it'll be a little while. And before I kick the speed up, is there anything else to be doing? Cows, 14. We need to think about splitting this herd up. And or just buying more and then turning so many more into shoes, which is where we get our big burst of income, really. Selling shoes to ourselves helps out a lot. Um, and I got to thinking about something. First of all, I'm going to batch record a whole bunch of episodes right now. So from this point on out... I won't be able to answer any comments into the, the, the following episode's uh, commentary. But I did take a pause between the last one and this one, and KK's grandma wrote in and made a, an observation that what she's noticed is that the, uh, the rich ladies in here do not work. You know, she's having trouble getting laborers to come and do do the different things like we all have. <laughs> you saw what happened here. I had to I had to bribe them to get them to come to work. In fact, let's get rid of that before that's a problem. I'll take it down to 120. Spring is the issue. You want to get the crops in as fast as you can so you have the most growth time available. Fall or, or harvest, we've got four months. As long as we get it in, as long as we get the last plant, you know, dug up by what was it? November 1st I think or was it the end of November well sometime around then then it can lay in the in the uh, you know in the fields just fine they'll come pick it up all winter long it's just so we have four months there whereas we have really one month to effectively get the sewing done so that's why I really wanted to get them to work but this is the mayor's house if I remember correctly camp center yep so father Arcady Arc Arcady I don't know what the A with the little mark over sounds like. Well, I'm going to say Father Arcady. So, now look at there. Mother 
Yana. So father, oh, ma, the father's name is, okay. <laughs> Been a while since I've played Ostrov. So, Arkady, hmm, Gritchik. Yeah, okay, he is the mayor, and he has a job, and the mother, Yana, works at the market stall nearby. So, that's not necessarily a thing. At least, it isn't here. Um, wealth, 66, 52, 93, she's working at the market stall. Uh, 142, she's working at the farm. They're all working. Well, we have an unemployed at 72. Okay, we have one unemployed there. What's, do we notice anything? She's got a two-year-old son. I always thought it had to do with, with uh, young kids, but that's not necessarily the case. So, 78 works at the market stall, and um, 21. It's one of the, the later houses that we put in. Probably before I took this long break from the series, that was probably the last house that went in. Probably why this is so low. Uh, works at the shoemaker shop. Okay. And for the longest time, didn't have any any uh, any shoes to make, so it may have been a pause in, in you know work there. Um, over here, we've got income of 22, 10, and 17. These guys are further away from most jobs. Unemployed farm she must be the uh, uh, the manager doesn't say uh, Mariana oh, she's right here so she is not the manager which gets a, a pay boost but is uh, just the, the year-round worker to keep the uh, the water and hay in there for the the oxen okay and is this is where we were so 22 Okay, yeah, did all those. So, yeah, not a lot of, of work over here is my guess. Over here, what we got going on? And we still got the one house to get done. It's almost there. In fact, the thatch is just showing up for the roof. So this one's almost done. Over here, 12, 14, 17, and 10. New, some of the newest houses, at least these last three will be. And only seasonal work out in this end. So it's this group over here has jobs that are that are constant that never seem to end and the the household income kind of shows that all right we over here hauling logs nope we are picking up these good as soon as these get picked up then we can't if you're in fact you're bringing it over here that's what i was hoping this job site was going to take these materials then we can lay the farm out put the next two fields in and get that all set up for next year's harvest now workers for this area I figured these guys here would provide some labor. These jobs are not constant. This one seems to be, but these jobs are not constant. You're gone and you're gone. And so I guess in the end, or what I'm trying to do is, is rationalize where do we want to put another cow shed? Where do we, are we going to have the labor to handle it? You guys warehouse looking at the lady here market they all have jobs over here so everybody was able to get employed from this area over here you're not uh, well granary farm and unemployed and then you were the market stall over here we had just one unemployed one unemployed there over here everybody's employed okay so where do we need jobs is one way to to, one question to ask yourself when you go to uh, you know, expand the town. We've got a void over here. It'd be nice to get that town hall in, but there really aren't a lot of jobs over here. The guys have got fishing and thatch once in a while, and that's it. Um, there is a long walk from here to get food over there. We could do another series of market stalls, though I would say we'd be a little more justified if there were more houses here to service. Just the three. We've got five over here, and probably more later. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Install tactics while I'm waiting for that last box of nails to go away. <laughs> um. Hmm. So we're good over here. Problems over there. But this is kind of where I wanted the cattle. Are we going to have enough people here to run this farm? That's also going through my mind. So we've got field, field, field. And this is a little too far away to start dropping houses. 
just too far away from all the other services. Yeah. Now, I guess once we get that farmhouse or the farm laid and the other two fields going, maybe we can get houses down right here. And then if we push them off to the side a little bit, we can get the cattle over here too. Okay, that's starting to starting to lay out in my mind. So cattle here, another pasture dedicated just to cattle rather than playing with uh, agriculture or f fields, uh, the fallow fields for uh, cattle, which seemed to have problems last town that we did. So we're getting a lot of uh, cow statues just standing around in the fields. I haven't, though, really looked to see if all these guys go in in the, uh, in the winter. So this winter we'll have to see if we have any stuck cows or not. Okay, well, we still have a box of nails here, so let's think about the cow shed. Or actually, let's just kick the speed up a little bit. That'll take care of both. Um, cow shed. And we're still waiting on... Really, I believe it's these guys. Why you lit up? Oh, that's right. So we're still able to trade with them if we wanted to. I think the chickens come from here. And... What was that? I think this is where we trade the sunflower oil. That was a house. So we have another family moving in. Okay. Hmm. Cow shed. Okay, I don't know what that one was. There. And quantity of wheat right now. We're actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and put one worker into here. Otherwise, are we coming out here to drop trees yet? We have. And that's the first one I have in, in the in the order there. Okay. All right, that works. And we still don't have those nails gone. Okay, cow shed right there. What is the plan here? That's the cows enter from this side. What if we were to? It makes sense to be over here to me because this is where the slaughterhouse is and the tannery and all that so it seems like it needs to be here so this borders this road right there and once that's built i think the pasture will be out over here that seems to work pretty good and this did we just accidentally nail this thing or did did many episodes ago i plan this pathway to land where these guys just naturally come in because apparently that is the route they take. Oh, that's good. If we can get keep this road going the whole length, and these guys just roll through town, that would be nice. There goes a pasture. Good. Or a field. All right. We still don't need any more nails, do we? Oh, man. Okay. I need to call... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Got it. What was that one? I don't remember. Okay, that one's gone. I know we have the town hall. Oh, is this one over here? Okay, you're going to be just firewood. And pause. I want it to be just a guy. Because I want to bring whole firewood at a time. If that is the way that works. I'm going to do that. And so a guy's going to come in and you're going to bring me firewood. And let's just up that to 100. All right. Which means I kind of need to keep this employed for a while and keep the firewood coming in. Because we have multiple places going to gather it. Has she... She's been bringing in a little bit. It's not going to work over here, unfortunately. You've really got to have one dedicated to firewood. That's just kind of the way it works. Um, especially if it's a lady that's running it. Which works good for the wheat because she will bring whole quantities of wheat. But firewood, she's still bringing in tenths. And I do wish that that would change to whole. But, you know, man or woman... Carrying it brings in one quantity, and carting it brings in another. But the, the, the tenths, they just drag on for years to accomplish something. So I'm thinking the firewood's just not going to work well there. So do we have wheat still stored anywhere? We have some potatoes left over here. We have granary, and I was hoping to get a guy in there too. Let's see if that will work. The point being, someone carries smaller quantities, someone carries bigger quantities, and to see where they randomly land to go get things. Wheat, 11. All right, we'll keep you employed. Bring some more of that wheat over here. All right, farm. We can put that in now. Let's pop up a little bit, trying to get this straight to the screen there. And right here. And I want the door to be up there. I want you somewhat parallel to this guy. And that looks pretty good. 
Let's see those two lines there, uh, the ridge of the roof, about as close as I'm going to get. So you're over in here, and I wanted you lined up somewhat with that guy, and I wanted you looking good with the road over here. So can I pull off all of that? So you're kind of there, forward and back, and side to side, you're kind of... Let's see, you can see the, where the grass is over there. It, it goes off at an angle because of our perspective. So we want to be about there, and we want to be about there. Yep, I'd say it looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to pause you this time, <laughs> unlike last time, and say, no, you guys aren't touching that one. Um, cow shed, though, I would like to get going. And I kind of like to get the, the town hall going after all this time. Sure, let's do that. We'll pull that up there. Cows are going to be okay for a little while. Let's get that one going so we can take another look at that. All right. Although you guys were just going crazy on that one, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Anyway, what I want to do while this is paused is to stick another field in there and shoot that line across the screen and see what it looks like. So, finding you. You snap to... You don't actually snap on this one. No, you don't. Okay. So you're going to come out right there, but I want a space in between. So about like that. Once you parallel the farm and the length of the farm, something like that. Yep, that's pretty good. Not bad. But how does that look going this way? That looks really good. That's what I was trying to do last time and couldn't pull it off. Okay, so that's there. Yep, that works out well. Okay, another 15 over there. And let's see if we can't duplicate that. Right over here. So that distance, a little bit wider than a fence post. Actually, to right there, so it's about the same width. Okay, so somewhere... Oh, hey, it snapped to that fence post. Or fence post, that flag snaps right there. Just free floats over here. Won't have anything to do with it, but that one... I'm clear over here and it grabs it. wonder why some but not others. There are fences around this end of the farm, aren't there? The door is here up on top, so we're grabbing this corner right here and it's grabbing that one. It'll grab this one too, but it won't grab the building. That's what's going on. Fence is grabbing fence. Okay, in that case, we're there. But we're out about the width of a fence post. That looks pretty symmetrical. Let's grab that one. Now, you're going to be... Hmm. Well, let's just try this. Let's just randomly click and then shoot across. It's not bad. Let's go there. We're off the other direction. Boy, tiniest little movement. So, right click, left click. Um, a little more. I'll call that good. And this direction looks pretty good, too. All right. What's 15 out here? Something like that. All right, then. One, two, three, four, five. All opening up, I hope, to the farm. Yep, it appears to be that way. Do we do anything below this? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking housing, uh, support services, well, markets. Wish there were more support services like that. More things that groups of housings that little suburbs depend on. I'm sure, uh, well, okay, that will be coming later. We've got religion, we've got health, and education. So there'll be more of those sort of things coming in eventually. Okay, that's good. So that is there, and it'd just be nice to see that done by the end of winter. So I would say in that order would be fine, something like that. Now, why are we not just out there chopping like crazy? Should that not just be a... Well, I guess it is. We've got that one right there. You are this one right there. And then you're going to go over to this one. Okay, so they're doing it. They're just taking their time. It's a, it's a long walk. Carry those things on your, on your shoulders. Yeah, you want to take a break afterward. All right, then. Speed back up. That's laid out. This one's laid out. We're working on this. New. Working on this. New. Um, hmm. If I turned you on, I wonder if they would 
jump out of order or not. So we've got fans or blades swirling over here. We are making wheat flour again there. A lot of people moving around. Kids? Nope, we're just picking up things. What did we pick up? We have a crate carrying shoes. The shoes arrived. Mm-hmm. And they're all over their head and getting their shoes. So, shoes. And pause. Do we still have? We do not. Okay. So, this was where cattle came from. I guess I could have bought more cattle and then slaughtered some that we already had. Just to get more activity in the economy going. We'll see who arrives next time. And sound check. There it is. Good. <laughs> All right. Fishing. How are we doing? We've got two hired. Two are out there. Eleven fish are sitting over here waiting to be picked up. Which is why I wanted a guy in here. We still don't have it. Because I've got it turned off. Laborers, men. I see. Um, yeah. If I do that and do that, let's see who jumps in here. I've never seen any laborers actually doing anything, so depending on a guy to pop in and deliver something, I guess maybe if there were no jobs up here in the queue, then it might happen. But right now, everybody seems to be already uh, set up to, to be working somewhere else. Nobody's in there. What was the third one? This one. Nope, not going. So four guys over there. Kind of probably different guys popping in and out as different supplies are showing up. They all have almost the same picture here. <laughs> and they're silently putting in the floors. But wait till those uh yeah, wait till those posts go in. There we go. Otherwise, what is what else is there to see in uh, Ostrov life? You're running across to do what? Carrying firewood to home, okay? So leather, what leather is in? We still have 2.3 leather because you know I'm going to go ahead and set up a laborer mail. Try that again right there. See if somebody will come over and bring a whole load in. Because th there is an advantage to putting leather right here. No, you're right there. If she only had that to walk. Tell you what, let's do that. Well, he is bringing it in holes. But only two out of a hundred. I bet you they've been taken f from it as fast as he's bringing it over. No, only tenths. No, he's unloading a cart. That's what's up. Yeah, right there. Okay, so he can bring a cart over, which brings a hole. There's three. And they only carry it out in tents? There's our chickens. Hmm. Yeah, we're still at three, so nobody's been taking it. So he's been taking his own sweet time bringing it in. All right, you're bringing me live chickens if I choose. And I choose. I got the money up there. Let's drop back into... Can I? I can't. I think I... There we go. Live chickens. Let's see. Do we want the whole load or not? I think we do. I think we do. We've got the support system for it. Let's let's check out over here. We've got all the supplies in. We've got somebody working there, four and four. And this wasn't a an egg already in place. This was how many eggs do we want to reserve? So I got that wrong last time. So I don't know what the strategy would be. So the first five get held so they can become new chicks but what i guess when you hit the livestock limit then they do they start slaughtering them got to really kind of figure out how this works we'll take that to six eggs and let's go ahead and do the whole load of, of 20 here so right there live chickens 20 deal is going to cost us 240 so we're not going to do that very often but let's go ahead and do that and Hopefully selling the meat and the eggs will return a profit that will offset a lot of that. Now, you guys should not have anything to do with the trading post. The cattle get brought directly to the cow shed, so they should bring the chickens directly to the chicken coop. 
So I don't need to employ this to make this work, to my knowledge. We'll find out. Um, going good over here. We still have the one log to pick up. And you guys are doing what right now? So you are going to get it. Okay. So they had to go home for, for lunch for, for four days. Okay. That's, that's understandable. We are just about getting these guys full again. You, hay dryer, stored four. Now laborers will do this, and the cow shed workers will do this. We only have one, and she's been busy. If we popped another one in here, we would get a little more hay put aside. Though we'll have to probably thin that out later when we need to harvest. Growth. I guess we've hit the end of it. And we're just dealing with ripeness now. I do wish the growth would continue slowly as it's ripening. It just makes sense. He's not going to stop growing. Maybe growth has to do with, with quantity. We've hit our maximum quantity. Now we're just ripening that quantity. That could be a yield, I guess would be another word for it. And then ripeness has just to do with when they're ready to pick, when that yield is ready. But... Hmm. Okay, that was a field. One left. I'll put you at the beginning just to make sure that, that in case that means anything as far as when these guys get the trigger to go and deal with it. That one may have been done when this was still at the beginning before we drop these other, other ones in. Um, this guy is getting worked on. Looks like we're going to be bringing clay here soon. Workers. For what? That's right, the materials get dropped down underneath the floor instead of out over here. Um, so these are already sitting over there waiting. Okay. And you are taking a lunch break. Uh -huh. <laughs> Otherwise, we've got cow shed over here, and nobody is continuing to work on that one yet. Do have some materials there, though. Looking for laborers. I guess you need more materials before. Um, I'm running at a slower speed. That's right. I turned that down while I was still thinking about chickens. So we'll get this going again. When the chickens arrive, we'll call this episode done, and I'll start recording the next one, whatever that one's about. We've still got two guys working here. We really could use some more houses. I guess really what it's comes, coming down to. We've not run into any warnings of people running out of money or running out of food. So that's not really been an issue. So we should be able to handle some more people. Just lay out some more houses while we're waiting for the chickens to arrive, which happens when. You are halfway here. Okay can't zoom in anymore that's a cart I believe rather than a, a horse is over there the cart comes back that's right um houses cow shed pasture can go a little bit further so how first house is probably over here a little bit of distance away from the cow shed we'll come up with something else to drop into there what else would drop into there what other business would would fit in this neighborhood what footprint do I need to leave between the cattle and the first house? Nothing is coming to mind. Don't need another forestry over here, although that's viable. We've got another. We do have another forest over here. We could take turns employing one or the other while giving the uh, the area a chance to plant and, and uh, grow. Though I've never proved whether or not they can actually cut down and get logs from the trees that we place. You know, these guys. Someone had mentioned in comments that you can't. And I've never taken the time to, to verify that or not. Let's do put another forestry in just, just as a placeholder. So you're right there and right like that. Spin you, not you, spin you around. I'd say something like that. And what do I want, that one? Yeah, let's get in a little bit closer here and Put it against, actually I can put it against this. This worked out pretty well. So what's that, just a touch to the R, T, R. That's about as close as I'm going to get. So I'm going to have to uh, set this about like that. Oh, I'm smelling cookies. Hmm, a little distraction here. I can smell it coming through my studio. Someone's cooking cookies in this house. Anyway, houses, you're next. So this guy right there. And I keep wanting to hit E to turn the building around. 
too many games with too many different key bindings. What was that? That was the other field. Good. So you are touch that way, kind of. Can I snap to that? Not really. No offense there. I can snap to this and kind of pull a crooked building back into straight again. Like this one tactic to use. Um, we could try that. Let's see if that'll work. The road's actually right about there. If I were to put you there, that may be the chickens, and then grab another house, if I hold the shift down, I don't have to, and take you up a little bit. Let me find a better way to do this. I'm going to slow that down, uh, that one, so that I can think without having to want to get over there and look at the chickens be delivered. We can take this guy to straight, like that. That might be how some of the buildings have gotten out of sync of the other ones. I wonder. But if I drop that in like that, the house is going to be a little crooked, but the fences won't. And then I could take this one and demolish it, grab another house, and then I could lock in... No, it doesn't. It doesn't turn the house. It doesn't. It only changes the shape of the fence. Okay. Never mind. I didn't, f I didn't just discover something. <laughs> anyway, two houses. And let's see what happens over here. Let's get you in here. All right. What do we got? You're dropping. You're stopping there. And you're just going to rub right into that house really hard. And come over to the fence to the... Whoa. And there they are. <laughs> and she walked out of the house to go tell the town that the chickens have arrived and omelets and eggs and toast and bacon and eggs and all the great things everyone's waiting for are about here. I'm thinking cakes and cookies. Mm. Okay, we've got theoretically 20. Current count 20. We've got wheat, water, and we've got an autosave. And I'd say we've got a good place to call this episode done. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.